Hey guys and welcome back to another RuneScape video and for this video I'm going to be showing you guys the next episode of our flip list. We have done 100 to 500k, 500k to 2 million, 2 million to 5 million and in this episode we're going to be doing 5 million to 10 million. If you haven't seen the other episodes you can check down below in the description there will be links to every single other video part of this episode but what we basically do is in this video I show you guys items to flip between these certain cash amounts. Of course, if you feel comfortable flipping these items with bigger cash amounts or smaller cash amounts, you know, this is more like a guideline. So if you want to kind of swap around, you can always do that. But let's get started. So today we're going to be following the same principle as all our other episodes and we're going to be making a list in real life. So we're going to be making a list on a piece of paper of our favourite items to flip between these cash amounts. Of course your list might look a bit different, it doesn't have to look the same, you can even do it on the computer if you want to. But I always find it a lot easier just to kind of turn my head to the side and I've got this list next to me that I flip these same items every 4 hours. So every 4 hours you can kind of recycle these items, go through the same items again and if I don't like an item, for example, if I don't like a Saradome and Murmur because it's no longer profitable, I just cross it out and if I find another item in the future, I add it on. That's my list pretty much every single day. There's items coming and going and it's very hard to kind of keep up sometimes, but you do get used to it. And it's very good to have a list that you do every four hours rather than every four hours looking for random items. It can be very complicated if not. So right on the far left side, like on that column there we have semi away from keyboard, away from keyboard and what that pretty much means is that if these items take about 5 to 10 minutes to buy they would be semi away from keyboard. If they take longer than 10 minutes it would just say away from keyboard. If it says none away from keyboard it pretty much means to take just a few minutes to buy each one or sometimes even a few seconds and that might be very handy depending on what you're doing elsewhere in the game. So if you're doing like Slayer and stuff you might want to do the away from keyboard methods or if you do maybe QBD and every trip you want to come back real quick just to check the Grand Exchange, you might want to do the semi away from keyboard ones. So it really depends on your lifestyle depending if you can do the faster items or slower items. But usually, even if they are away from keyboard or not, you tend to make the same percentage of your profits. So on this list today, as I've said already, on the left side we have all that kind of categorically semi away from keyboard, away from keyboard stuff. Then next up on the left we have items. In the middle column we have amounts per 4 hours and then on the far right we have the profits per item. Not per the full 4 limit items but per single item. So you're going to have to wear that out depending on the limit you can buy every 4 hours. On our list today we have the Glaco boots which includes the Steadfast, the Glaven, the Ragefire. Every single one of those are 10 per 4 hours. But you might notice that the Steadfast boots are actually over 10 million at the moment. But one of the reasons why I included it in that list was because as you flip the Glaven and the Ragefire, you will get used to flipping the Steadfast eventually and it's a very good idea to keep the Steadfast always in mind because directly you reach over the amount to be able to flip the Steadfast, you would have already flipped the Glaven and the Ragefire which means flipping the Steadfast would be no big deal. But of course you will make bigger profits because compared to the 100 to about 150k you would make with the other ones, you would be making around 150k so it's a little bit more and obviously as you can flip more per hour it does become more profitable. Next up on our list we have all the God Wars dungeon items which include a total of 22 items but for example we have the Saradomian Murmur, Subjugation Gloves, Bandos Chestplate, Subjugation Garb, Armadil Boots and every single one of those can be found in the flip chat one friend chat. I will add a quick find code down below in the description so don't forget to tell me about that and on the right side you have how much you would make per item. So if you flip all 22 items, you're looking for at least 2.2 million to maybe about 4 million or so because some items can actually make you 200,000 profit per flip. Do keep in mind that I have not added any 25,000 or 10,000 per 4 hour items purely because they slowly become less profitable than flipping these items. And these items can make you run the same profit as flipping 25,000 of another item but these are so much easier. So at this point you want to start to get rid of those items that you might have on your list and if you do think though you still have very good items to flip that are 25,000 or 10,000 or anything like that you can always stick with them but there's going to reach a point where you're going to have to let them go because there's going to be better profits elsewhere and that are less stressful because there's less of an item to flip for the same profit. Next up on our list we have the Sirenic, the Melvolent, the Tectonic, all those items are very good to flip and as you can see they can actually make a decent amount of profit. Every single one of them are 2 every 4 hours but also some of them are away from keyboard and some of them aren't. 
I have noticed that the Melvolent can actually be pretty fast flips always, so I've added that as semi away from keyboard. But as you can also see on the right side, some of them can make you a decent amount of profit, up to about half a million per flip. So those are good items to flip also. In the description down below I will add a quick fun code for the forums page for these items but do keep in mind that at the moment there's not a French chat for them so the only way you can actually find the prices is through the forums page. But thanks guys for watching, if you have any questions please just post them down below. If you want to suggest an item maybe you can also do that down below for other guys to kind of keep track of. And I will post the next video of this series in about maybe the next day after tomorrow or maybe even tomorrow. So thanks guys for watching, uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow with that video. Peace out.